Hi there and welcome back to the channel. To conduct a multidimensional analysis in SAP S4 HANA Finance using Fiori, we navigate to the application called Balance Sheet, Income Statement, Multidimensional, this one over here. Please be aware that you can only see this application if you assigned the following role to your user via transaction code SU01 in the backend system. It's called ZAP underscore BR underscore GL underscore accountant. So please make sure to assign this role to your user, otherwise you can't see this application over here. Let's now click on the application and we can see the detailed screen. So first of all, you can see over here, there is kind of a filter bar with lots of filters I will explain in a second. And then down here you can see the dimensions as well as this section over here where the data will be displayed later on. Let's start with the filters. So first of all, we can maintain here a comparison ledger. So meaning that with the comparison ledger and our normal ledger, we can display the balance sheet and income statement for two ledgers at the same time. Right now I will leave it as is, but you can also change the comparison ledger, for instance, to IFRS to compare your IFRS values to your local ledger values. Then you can see over here we need to insert a hierarchy ID. So this is how the data will be displayed in the hierarchy itself. Let me just choose one of the existing ones, 1720 over here. And then we can select the company code for which we want the values to be displayed. We can also include multiple company codes if necessary. So you will just tick those boxes over here. For now, I will leave it for one company code. Then you can see the from period and the to period. So as you can see, they always consist of three digits. So right now I will set the from period equal to 000. So the period zero, the beginning of the fiscal year and the to period I will set to 012. So the end of the fiscal year. The fiscal year itself right now is set to 2023, as you can see over here. So this is fine. Then we have here also the comparison period. As you have learned before, we can compare here values of multiple ledgers. So it makes sense to set the comparison period the same as the normal period we have seen before. So from 000 to 012 in this instance, like that. The comparison fiscal year is the same as our normal fiscal year. And then you can see here the currency type. So we will set it to the company code currency, which is also our functional currency. Over here, we could also select the global currency if necessary. For now, this is fine. Then you can see the plan category. This is actually our last mandatory field. I will display the search help. You can see there are lots of different plan categories that we could choose from. However, we will use the actual values for now. Let's select OK. And that's basically it. We could also restrict for certain GL accounts, profit centers, as well as other data like segments and so on. Please be aware that we can even adapt the filters over here so we can include even more or less information if necessary. For now, this is fine. Let's actually click on go to display the details. You can see now more data is being displayed. First of all, I always advise you to close the filter bar over here via this button. Now we have more space and we can see more of the page. Actually, we got two different sections, the dimensions over here and then the data being displayed over here. And as you can imagine, what we can do is we can add those available fields here either to the columns or to the rows. There are two ways to do so. One way would be to grab one of these entries and drag and drop them, for instance, like that. And we can drop the chart of accounts to the columns, just that you see how flexible this layout here is. Or we can also click on those buttons over here. This one will add the field to the row axis and the other one will add the field to the column axis. When we are finished with adding our dimensions, we can also expand or resize here a bit the window like that. And now you can see only the data being displayed. Please be aware that over here, we also have lots of options. Before we click on one of those, we first should select here our line, for instance, this one, and then we can filter if necessary. We can sort information in different orders. We can 
expand the whole hierarchy. This is actually pretty useful if you want to see all the information. We can click on expand all. This takes a second and now you can see that the list here is quite huge because all of the data was expanded at the same time. Let's actually select this one here again, click on hierarchy, collapse all, and you can see now we can only see one line. We can add drill downs or swap the axis if necessary. And we have some measurement tools and totals that we can utilize. Furthermore, we can select the data analysis, but we can also choose graphical display. So the information is being displayed in a graphical way, or we can use query information. So now it's more being displayed in an SQL kind of way. Let's go back to data analysis. And as you have seen, we kind of customized our layout. We can now save it if necessary via this button over here. Click save. You can see bookmark created. Last but not least, we can always export our balance sheet and income statement to Excel via one of those buttons over here. And we can also forward the information to our colleagues via this little button over here. Send via email, or we can even save our view here as an own tile. One last hint I will give you is the following. Let's actually expand the filter bar over here again, and let's also expand the dimensions. There is another way of displaying this information, which would be via this button over here. If I click this button, you will see that now also only the data analysis section is being displayed. And I can also decompress via the same button again. Please be aware that you can also utilize this button over here to actually save all the filters in this area here for the next time you enter this application. So this is done via save as you give it a name, my own balance sheet, for instance, and then you can set it as default. So it will be displayed the next time you enter this application. And you can also save it as public so that other people can also enter your layout. For now, I will set it as default and save. And next time I open this application directly, all the filters I utilized over here, will be displayed. However, I can also switch to the standard view via this button and go to standard if necessary. This marks the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, then please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. See you next time.